Another short presentation from the PLC eUniversity website. What is a PLC? This is the 16th in the Factory Rat series. This one is on counter using the count up, count down, and reset instruction. This is the default database that we've been using for a Micrologix 1400. If you're using a different brand of PLC, different software, it all works basically the same. In particular, we're going to use the default element of the array C5. So data file 5 is specified as a counter data type, which means each element has three 16-bit integers. One for the control bits that include count up, count down, and done. Another for the preset value, how high do you want it to count? And then another word for the accumulate value, how high has it counted? Or in some cases, how low? There is only one counter data type and only one timer data type. All timer instructions are executed against the common timer data type and all counter instructions are executed against the common counter data type. There are not count up counters and count down counters. There are just counters. We start with a wrong, something to count, and a count up instruction. We only have one counter in our C5 file. We could increase this to more counters by strictly clicking on properties, putting in how many we want. Now we have 10 counter data types to work with, not just C50. So I'm going to use C51, drag it over here, or I could have just typed in C5 colon one. My preset will make it three. Now we'll give it something to count, input zero, and that's all we need to count up. While we're at it, let's throw in another rung, something else to count, and use the countdown instruction. Same timer, same timer data type, C51. It's the same preset because there is only one counter data type, C5 colon one. So if I change the preset, it changes it in both instructions because there's only one preset for C5 colon one. I also need a reset and we'll throw in something to reset it, a different input, and then we'll grab the reset instruction, drag C5 colon one down. And now we have the complete use of C5 colon one. We're going to download this. We'll save it first. Files. I'm going to change the preset back to three. I can do that at any point in the execution of the program. I can also change the cumulative value if I wanted to. So all of these values are very easily accessible. I'm going to actuate input zero. You see it counted up one, counted up two, counted up three. Now the done bit came on. If I count down, the done bit goes off. And I can count below zero. So the counter instructions are really extremely simple. One thing you do have to understand is the counter instructions execute on a false to true transition of the rung state in. So when this rung, the rung out from whatever the conditions are, when they go from false to true, this instruction increments that counter data type by one. When this rung goes from false to true, it decrements the counter accumulate value by one of C5 colon one. Up to three, push input two, resets it back to zero. The only real difference between a timer data type and a counter data type is that a timer data type counts increments of time. If you set it up for a thousandths of a second for a timer, it counts thousandths of a second. It counts units of time. Counter data types count events false or true transitions on the rung in state to the count up and the count down instructions. That's simple. And that is how to program a counter using the count up, count down, and reset instructions.